Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. When it comes to metals with a rich history and widespread usage, few can compare to brass, bronze, and copper. These materials have played pivotal roles in human civilization for thousands of years, from the early tools and weapons of ancient societies to the intricate artwork and modern machinery of today. While they are often discussed together due to their shared properties and historical significance, each metal possesses unique characteristics and serves specific purposes depending on its composition and qualities. Understanding when and where brass, bronze, and copper are used requires a closer look at their origins, properties, and the factors that influence their applications. Copper is one of the earliest metals used by humans, dating back to around 10,000 years ago. Its malleability, ductility, and conductivity made it an indispensable resource for early societies. In its pure form, copper is a reddish metal known for its ability to conduct electricity and heat efficiently. This property makes it a primary material in electrical wiring and electronic components. The widespread adoption of copper in electrical systems is due to its excellent conductivity, second only to silver, making it ideal for power transmission, household wiring, and telecommunication systems. Beyond its electrical applications, copper's resistance to corrosion and its antimicrobial properties have made it a staple in plumbing systems, roofing, and even in medical settings for surfaces that inhibit the growth of bacteria. The distinctive color and patina that copper develops over time also make it a popular choice in architecture and art, with iconic structures like the Statue of Liberty exemplifying copper's aesthetic appeal. While copper has maintained its importance throughout history, the development of alloys like brass and bronze expanded the possibilities for metalworking. Brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, is distinguished by its bright gold-like appearance and its ability to be shaped easily. The proportion of zinc in brass can be varied to achieve different levels of hardness, ductility, and color, making it a versatile material for a range of applications. One of the most common uses of brass is in the production of musical instruments, such as trumpets, trombones, and saxophones, where its acoustic properties allow for clear, resonant tones. Additionally, brass is frequently used in decorative items from furniture fittings and door handles to ornamental sculptures. The metal's resistance to tarnish, coupled with its appealing luster, makes it ideal for objects that are meant to combine functionality with aesthetics. In industrial settings, brass is employed for precision components like gears, bearings, and valves, particularly in applications where low friction is essential. Its durability and resistance to corrosion have also made brass a favored material for plumbing fixtures, marine hardware, and even ammunition casings. Bronze, on the other hand, is an alloy primarily composed of copper and tin, though other elements such as aluminum, nickel, or phosphorus may be added to enhance its properties. The addition of tin gives bronze a harder and more brittle structure than pure copper or brass, making it suitable for applications where strength and wear resistance are required. The use of bronze dates back to the Bronze Age, a period marked by advancements in toolmaking and weaponry. Early civilizations utilized bronze for swords, armor, and other tools that needed to withstand impact and retain sharp edges. In modern times, bronze continues to be valued for its mechanical properties, especially in the production of bearings, bushings, and machine components that operate under heavy loads and in harsh environments. The self-lubricating properties of bronze make it ideal for reducing friction in moving parts, extending the lifespan of machinery. Beyond industrial uses, bronze is a popular medium for casting sculptures due to its ability to capture fine details and its attractive finish when polished. From ancient statues to contemporary art pieces, bronze has remained a symbol of durability and craftsmanship. 
In terms of where these metals are used, the specific choice often depends on the desired balance between conductivity, strength, corrosion resistance, and aesthetic appeal. For example, copper's dominance in electrical and plumbing systems is largely due to its unrivaled conductivity and antimicrobial properties. In environments where electrical conductivity is less critical, such as in hardware or musical instruments, brass becomes a preferred option for its ease of fabrication and visual appeal. Bronze, meanwhile, finds its niche in applications demanding high wear resistance, such as in heavy machinery, marine environments, and artworks. Each of these metals also plays a role in specialized industries. For instance, the maritime industry often relies on bronze components due to their resistance to seawater corrosion, while the luxury watch industry might use brass for intricate gear mechanisms. One interesting area where these metals overlap is in their use in currency and metals. Historically, many coins were minted from bronze and copper due to the metal's durability and the ease with which they could be struck into intricate designs. Even today, some lower denomination coins are made from copper alloys, though modern currency often incorporates cheaper metals like steel plated with copper for cost effectiveness. Brass, with its golden hue, has also been used in commemorative medals and tokens, symbolizing value and prestige. The choice of material in such contexts often balances cost with the desired visual and tactile qualities demonstrating the flexibility of these metals across both functional and symbolic applications. The ongoing demand for brass, bronze, and copper in the 21st century reflects their adaptability to both traditional and modern needs. In the context of sustainability, copper, brass, and bronze are highly recyclable, which contributes to their continued relevance in an era focused on resource conservation. Recycling processes for these metals are efficient, allowing them to be reintroduced into the manufacturing cycle with minimal degradation in quality. This sustainability aspect is particularly important in industries like construction, electronics, and automotive manufacturing, where the environmental impact of material sourcing is increasingly scrutinized. As societies push towards greener technologies, the role of copper in renewable energy systems such as in wind turbines and solar panels, is expected to grow, further solidifying its position as a cornerstone metal in both legacy and emerging applications. In summary, the story of brass, bronze, and copper is one of versatility, resilience, and enduring value. These metals have been central to technological progress, artistic expression, and everyday life for millennia. Whether in the cables that power our cities, the valves that regulate our plumbing, the sculptures that adorn our public spaces, or the gears that drive our machines, brass, bronze, and copper continue to prove their worth across diverse applications. Their specific uses depend on the nuanced differences in their properties. Where brass shines with its golden luster and machinability, bronze offers strength and resilience, and copper remains unmatched in conductivity and antimicrobial performance. As technology advances and new challenges emerge, it is likely that these metals will continue to be adapted to meet the evolving needs of industry, art, and society at large. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.